what you find is still, I guess what I'm asking is, does she still have the same complaints, even though she knows what the parameters of being a comic is? And, well, and is it a little bit different because she was ensemble and mm -hmm. you're solo? Yeah, well, that's it. I mean, uh, during the time that we were seeing each other initially, when we were dating, I was doing stand. I had already been doing stand up for about um, maybe four or five years. Uh -huh. And on the side, I was also doing like a bit of improv with this okay. group because I wanted to have that as a skill that I could build on for, for stand up, really. Um, and so she saw both of those worlds. She saw like the cultish, weird improv scene. And then she saw the lone wolf stand up comic scene, you know, doing the road and doing mm -hmm. festivals and that sort of stuff. And so uh, when we moved to New York, I threw out seven years worth of material and started again. And mm -hmm. I was going out doing five or six shows a night at one point where she's like, geez, this, these are some long late nights you're doing. And I'm like, that's mm -hmm. what it takes. That's, that's the job. Like, mm -hmm. and so we had that, we, it was a, it was a pretty frank conversation and it was, well, you don't move halfway across the world and then just half ass it, you know? Um, right, right. Right. So, you know, we, we had that conversation and she wanted to be a musician. So I was like, all right, well, you know, if you're going to go out gigging as well and you're going to be doing sets and playing at restaurants and playing wherever you can get a spot, then you're going to be out late as well. And sure enough, for about the first four years we were here, she was playing like cigar lounges and bars and hotels, mm. restaurants, music venues. So all of a sudden she was seeing the same kind same of night, kind of thing, same kind of thing. Uh, she was making more than me <laughs> than I was right. making doing spots, yeah. but, uh, but she saw it. And then the only difference was then I started doing the road and that's something that she just never did as a, as a musician. So she never understood kind of the, the road and what that kind of meant. So that was one thing that, you know, I had to kind of explain, like, not explain, but like mm. be super honest and be like, all right, well, this is what it is. And here's right. the money and here's the, you know, I'm going to be away and it's just part of that job. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's so weird because when she was with a group of girls, mm -hmm. they would all like, they, they toured, they did, they did all kinds of shows and festivals and private gigs. And the, the stories from the road from them were crazy, but then New York is a different thing. America is a different thing. She never did that comedy stuff here in the U S different the the stories were different in what way, mm -hmm. in what way? Well, so like uh, in the UK and in Australia, you really have, and you probably spoken to other comics who do this like, uh, but like the, the festival circuit, uh, versus the road is that the festival you're doing 25 to 30 shows across a month, like every night you're on stage for an mm. hour. And you get you get good that way. I mean, you you, end, right. you better get good that way. Right, right. But then that means every single night after the show, you're probably out. You, you you're Dang hanging it. out with other comics, which you know that's its own bag of cats. And you know the the attitude is that it's such an incestuous kind of um, industry, and everyone's fucking each other, and everyone's bullshitting each other about mm. what they got and how they got that, and who's got representation, and who's doing this, and what venue they got, and mm. time slot, and all that shit. And all of that politics is like festival comic politics. And then you have the road, which is really different. You show up and go <laughs> do your gig, and you're in a strip mall. Exactly. You're in a hotel. You're in a you're strip. In a funny mall. bone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You 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 you're staying it's at a, a lot shitty more hotel. Solemn and depressing too. There's, exactly. There's that camaraderie, yeah. hanging out with other comedians and other yeah. people in your industry. Yeah, I, the first time I'd hear my voice is when I'm just about to go up. Like <laughs> for the day, right. I, I'm mute all day, and then all yeah. of a sudden, whereas they're talking throughout, they're, they're losing their voice. They're having to have like you know honey hanging lemon out. tea because they're yeah. hanging out, they're drinking, they're smoking, they're they're bullshitting each other every night, and then. Yeah, it's it's uh, on now, the road. Now, did she it's think that that was that was the same that she just assumed that would that your hangout mm. was the same way? And then yeah. and so was she insecure about that or no? What was I, the I think part of it was that I was a little older than the other people I was performing with and, mm. and doing because I came in, I, I moved here when I was like 29, 30. Mm -hmm. So uh, the other guys that were that I was getting up with and uh, guys and girls were in their twenties, you know, and, mm -hmm. and she would see, she'd, you know, come to shows sometimes and come to, you know, where I was performing and sort of see some of the women and go and see, you know, Oh, they seem to be pretty, you know, they're in their twenties, they're fucking yeah. around, you know? So uh, there was kind of a sense of like, she, she wanted to make sure that, you know, I was here to work. I'm not, I'm not here to fucking 
you know, fuck around. And yeah. and my dad cheated on my mom. So I've got like a, a hang up about cheating in my head already. I'm pretty wired to sort of be a bit funny about it. And yeah, yeah. so I, yeah, I think it took a while. It took a genuinely like a few years before she was like, all right, I trust you. But she had that thing because because she came from that festival thing. I was like, it's not really like that. Yeah, but then let me no. ask you this. When she was doing it, was she running around when she was with you? Was she running around sucking dicks and fucking people? <laughs> The whole time? <laughs> no, but guys were trying to fuck her. They yeah, were but, constantly okay, trying to and fuck then, but you, but because she had, there was a certain commitment or whatever, mm-hmm. and she was committed to it. She didn't. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you weren't running around going, "Oh, well, who are you fucking?" And this, that, yeah. You know, I mean, it, do you understand what I'm saying? My my point yeah. is, yeah, if, yeah, fuck you. Like <laughs> you did this, yeah, and yeah. it was okay, and somehow morally. Yeah. Morally, you I have the moral fiber to be in the midst of this mm-hmm. and 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 you should trust me. And right. then you don't have the moral fiber to be in the midst of this. And I don't trust you. So I got to right. check to see because the reality is the insecurity has nothing to do with me. It has to do with you. That's right. You, yeah. You think you're not good enough. Mm-hmm. You think you're not good enough to be to so that you're enough. Yeah. And so now it's this 20 year old girl who who kind of sees me. You, I see myself as not as hot as her or not as valuable as her. Or mm-hmm. she thinks that you would think that, which is right. still like, th- that's your problem. Right. Like, I say this all the time. You can't if you're not cheating already. Right. And you're getting accused of cheating and you're trying, you know, you have this jealousy. You can't what, you can't not cheat more. <laughs> <laughs> you're already cheat, not cheating. You can't yeah. go. I'm you're gonna, getting the, you're getting the, all of the shit without any other benefit. <laughs> right. Like it's it's like don't don't even yeah. you better not even talk to me about that. I I, mm. I, I I but I think what's happening is so there's this there's an honesty mm-hmm. that I think is not that that there's an honesty that I think that a lot of times women will will a dishonesty, a, you know, this mistrust. Yeah. Of you simply mm-hmm. because you're supposed to be this kind of guy or you're a guy and then there's not this. And, right. And meantime, your friends are fucking and hanging. Out. I mean, you yeah. know that you know that this this world because you're watching your friends hook up with guys and this and that. And now because mm-hmm. of your fucking shitty friends and because yeah. of maybe what you did or what yeah. you wanted to do now, right. all of a sudden I'm, I'm man. Oh, that dear. That's a and bad. I think, I think the guys who were trying to fuck her as well during the, like in the festival scene and stuff like that. I, I did hear some stories that were like, Jesus, these guys really went a little far a few times. What do you mean? Give me a, give me an example. Like um, getting a little stalky. And like, you know, following following her home, going, hey, where you staying? Hey, and then like hanging out outside a window and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, that's a little that's a bit much that to yeah. me that, you know, that's getting a bit that's getting to be a little bit more than just. And, and she thought these 20 year old girls were hanging out outside your window and fucking following <laughs> you. Home. Well, I think she saw what guys were like in comedy. And she's like, yeah, you you could be encouraged by a similar group of guys to just and you could and be. And so could you. You could be encouraged. Yeah. Are you, right. All you have to do is submit. You don't even have to be encouraged. All you got to right. do is just whisper out the window. Hey, want to come up? That's I mean, yeah. you know, the guy sitting in the bushes. <laughs> it's real easy. He's right yeah. there. Yeah. So, it, it, you know, there's this. There's you this. can set your own boundaries no matter what it is. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah, tolerate exactly. whatever you want to tolerate or mm-hmm. don't want to tolerate. You know, yeah. you can go. Listen, I don't want to hear. I, I'm not cheating on you. I don't ever want to hear about it again. Yeah, I, I, I wish I had. Again. Right. Yeah, yeah. It takes I, time. It takes time to get there. It took it me does. a long time to get there, but it, you can do that. You can go. Listen, I I haven't cheated on you. I don't ever want to hear it again. And if it comes up again, we're done. Yeah. That's, and if, that's it. And then mm-hmm. if it comes up again, you go, what did I say? You don't you know, even go. I, I don't even go. What did I say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Just, fair um, enough. You, you, I, you come home and I'm packing my shit. Young man school. 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.